हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द कोर्स 5G न्यू रेडियो टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग अ डीप डाइव दिस इज एन एक्सटेंसिव एंड इन डेप्थ कोर्स दैट कंटेन्स मेनी इलिस्ट्रेशंस इन ऑर्डर टू फैसिलिटेट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द 5G एनआर टेक्नोलॉजी एज फार एज द कोर्स कंटेंट्स आर कंसर्नड फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विद द फाइव रेडियो एक्सेस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी डिस्कस दैट हाउ ओ एफ इज यूज इन द फाइव and what are the flexible numerologies that are used in the 5G then we discuss the 5G frame structure what is the difference between the resource block and the resource element what are the different slot formats that are used in the 5G and what are the different modulation and coding schemes and what is the difference between the FTD and the TDD deployment and then we discuss that how the selected numerology affects the cell size and then we discuss the massive mimo and beam forming and at the start of this section we discuss the 5g nr transmission chain what are the different types of beam formings that are used and we discuss the 5g antenna which is called as the active antenna system and it can have different configurations for example a transmit a receive 64 transmit 64 receive etc and then we discuss the virtualized representation of the 5g antenna what is the difference between the single panel and multi panel antennas and what are the characteristics of the mimo in the uplink and the downlink in the sub 6 gigahertz as well as the millimeter wave and then in the same section we discuss that what is channel state information report and what are its different types and how this channel state information report is calculated and then we discuss the flow diagram for the downlink mimo procedures which can be csi rs based beam formed csi rs based or srs based and we also discuss the uplink mimo procedures which can be code book or non code book based and then we discuss the 5g nr protocol stack what is control plane what is user plane how they are separated and what is the overall protocol stack in the 5g nr and we discuss the functions of each of these layers and then we discuss the different 5g ran split options how 5g ran is split into the central unit and the distributed unit and how the protocol layers are divided between these two units and what are the pros and cons of using different split options and we also discuss the enhanced sipri protocol that is used on the front hall between the distributed unit and the remote radio unit and then we would discuss different 5g nr deployment options what is the dual connectivity between the 5g and the 4g and how the signaling radio bearers are used in the dual connectivity we would discuss the 5g stand alone deployment options which is option 1 and the option 2 we would discuss the 5g non stand alone options and we would discuss that how data bearer split takes place in the option 3 3a and 3x and we would also briefly discuss the option 5 and the option 6 which are unlikely deployment options and then we discuss the 5g new radio air interface what is the 5g new radio absolute radio frequency channel number what is the bandwidth part in 5g and how it is used what is the resource grid that is used on the air interface of the 5g what are the 5g nr channels and the procedures that are related to these 5g nr channels